Today I will show you how to terminate Leviton's HDX 12 fiber LC splice module. To do this, you will need some tools and consumables, including Airman yarn scissors, fiber strippers for 250 and 900 micron fiber, a marking pen, lint-free wipes, isopropyl alcohol or fiber cleaning solution, a disposable bin for fiber shards, and a small screwdriver. When terminating high fiber count, armored, and or outside plant cables, additional tools and consumables may be required, including a flex conduit cutter, a sheath cutter, gel solvent, some marking tape, and a tape measure. A fusion splicer is also required during this termination process. The fusion splicing kit should include the splicing unit, a precision cleaver, a stripping tool or thermal stripper for removing ribbon or single fiber, and appropriate fiber holders. The parts that come with the HDX module include the module with lid and pigtail installed, and an instruction sheet with a marking template for the fibers. The accessory kit includes the universal splice sleeve holder, mesh sleeve used to protect 900 micron buffered fibers and or other jacketed cable assemblies, nylon tie wraps, and splice sleeves. The splice module has a single chamber which consists of channels that route the inbound trunk cabling, a mounting point for the splice sleeve holder, and a slack storage area where all the fibers route to the holder for termination. The pigtails are wound through the storage area and the pigtail connectors are already installed in the couplers. The pigtails will stay connected to the couplers throughout the termination process. The first step in preparing the module for termination is to remove the top lid. Engage the release tab and lift the lid from the rear of the module base. Now you'll see the pigtail with the service coil. You will remove the fibers from the tray and lay them out flat. The incoming cable opening at the rear of the splice module has a diameter of 7.6 millimeters or 0.3 inches. While most common 12 fiber cables have a smaller diameter, each incoming fiber should be evaluated to verify correct sizing as cable constructions do vary. When using most tight buffered cable, 12 fiber cable can be routed directly to the splice module. For overall cabling larger than 7.6 millimeters, Secure the cable to the enclosure cable management tie-down points according to the device instructions. Remove the outer jacket after the tie-down point and utilize the mesh sleeve provided in this accessory kit to protect and route the individual fibers to the module. If routing ribbon fiber into the module, all ribbon fiber must be furcated into tubing or a breakout kit. Routing bare ribbon fiber directly to the module may result in damage to the fibers. When using ribbon fiber in a flat furcation tube, install a short piece of mesh tubing onto the furcated ribbon fiber for securing at the tie-down point. Remove at least 35 inches of outer cable jacket from the entrance point to the splice module. Feed incoming cables through the rear opening and secure through the tie wrap slots and over the cable jacket with one of the provided nylon cable ties. This tie wrap will be removed after pre-routing and marking of fibers prior to termination. Route the trunk fibers through the cable entry channel and around the module base clockwise one loop. Mark the fibers at the zero mark guide. Remove the tie wrap and remove all fibers from the module. As an option, route all fibers through the splice sleeve holder area and cut at the far end of the holder insertion area. When using this method, you will mark the fiber 35 millimeters back from the end for positioning in the fiber holder. The pigtail is designed to allow for both ribbon and single fusion splicing. This will determine the routing and marking steps of the pigtail. If terminating single fibers, we will cut the fibers before the black tape and ribbonized area of the assembly. Route the pigtail counterclockwise through the management tabs until all the slack is stored. One full loop and the fibers are entering the splice sleeve holder area. Mark the fibers at the zero mark guide and remove all fibers from the storage area. As an option, route all fibers through the splice sleeve holder area and cut at the far end of the holder insertion area. When using this method, you will mark the fiber 35 millimeters back from the end point for positioning in the fiber holder. 
If terminating to ribbon fiber, route the pigtail counterclockwise through the management tabs until all the slack is stored and the ribbon is entering the splice sleeve holder area. Mark the fiber at the zero mark guide and remove all fibers from the storage area. As an option, route the ribbon fiber through the splice sleeve holder area and cut at the far end of the holder insertion area. We are now ready to perform fusion splicing. Place the splice module on the right side of the fusion splicer and the bolt cable on the left side. Place the splice sleeve holder near the fusion heater with the target sleeve positions away from the splicer. Install the ribbon splice sleeve or single splice sleeves as required on the trunk cable fibers. Using the marking guide on the provided instruction sheet, shorten all fibers to 30 to 35 millimeters to the zero mark. Strip all the tight buffer coating, loose tubing or coatings, and the acrylite back to the zero mark of both fibers to be fused. Load each fiber into the appropriate fiber holder, cleave, and place the holder in the fusion splicer. Perform the fusion splice, verifying acceptable loss and tension test. Remove the spliced fiber from the holders and position the splice sleeve centered over the splice. Perform the heat shrink of the sleeve. Once the splice fiber has cooled, install it in the splice sleeve holder. Place the first splice in the position closest to the splicer. After each splice, load the fibers into the splice sleeve holder in the following order for single fiber terminations. Make sure the internal strengthening rod is in the down position when you install it into the splice sleeve holder. Load the fibers in the following order for ribbon termination. To allow the ribbon to bend properly during routing, make sure the internal strengthening device is in the vertical position when you install it in the splice sleeve holder. Now we will begin loading the terminated assembly into the module base. Begin by feeding the fibers from the connectors into the pigtail channel. Rotate the module base clockwise while placing the grouped fibers under the cable management tabs. When the splice sleeve holder is reached, carefully snap the splice sleeve holder into the receiving tabs with the splice sleeves positioned nearest to the incoming trunk cable. Verify all routed fibers are under tabs and free of all snags. Continue rotating clockwise to route the remaining group fibers into the module base under the tabs. Place the final length of trunk fiber in the outermost channel to the tie wrap entrance. Fine tune for any bend radius or routing adjustments. Secure the trunk cable to the base with two provided tie wraps. Verify all fibers are underneath the cable management tabs. Install the lid and termination of the splice module is complete. Learn more about the HDX Splice module and the HDX family of fiber solutions at leviton.com slash HDX.